Hey, what's up, everyone out there in YouTube land? Elric Ferris here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. Well, today the cat says hello. Hello to everybody out there in YouTube land. Wave at them. Oh, I guess she doesn't like that very much. All right, well, check it out. There's been a new launch by AMD, and it's the new 69 series. Today, we're going to take a look at the Gigabyte HD 6950. So to follow along as we show you all the specifications, how it compares against the other cards, what it costs, and at the end of the day, whether it's worth your money at the end user. Let's check this out. Okay, the new AMD Radeon 69 series features a dual graphic engine and the new VLI W4 core architecture, which you can see illustrated here. It also has a fast 256-bit GDDR5 memory interface. AMD has busted out some new features here, which is the Enhanced Quality Anti-Aliasing, or EQAA, and there's three types supported. Adaptive Anti-Aliasing, Super Sample Anti-Aliasing, and the new Morphological Anti-Aliasing features. You also get the new AMD PowerTune technology. Now, what this does is this either increases your performance by 20% or decreases your performance by 20%, whether you're in gaming or non-gaming mode. This is pretty cool because it actually can make your computer save energy when you're not in gaming mode. The card also features fifth generation vapor cooling. Now what the vapor cooling does is it helps get all of the heat away from the GPU. Now for efficiency and acoustics, this makes the card run cool and also keeps it from being very loud in your PC. For those of you guys into the iFinity technology, this card supports up to six monitors out of one card. Here in this illustration, you can see how this is done. Okay, so here we go on to the features of the new HD 6950. It's got a core clock speed of 800 megahertz. It's got stream processors, 22 SAMD, texture units that are 88. With a frame buffer, once again, it's two gigabytes of GDDR5. The memory width is also, once again, a 256-bit memory interface. The power tune maximum limit is 200 watts. The typical gaming power when gaming is 140 watts, and idle power is 20 watts. This card requires just a six pin and a six pin power connector, and it also features two DVI, two mini display ports, and an HDMI connector. Okay, so you see the scores. The new HD 6950 actually is a card that has a niche of its own. It's below the 460 and 470 cards, but it's below the GTX 570. It's also a little bit cheaper. This card comes in at about $320. So for all the features, all the great warranty stuff that you get from Gigabyte, at the end of the day, I give this a editor's choice product here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. 